What's up, YouTube? My name is Speed, and welcome back to Pokemon Showdown. And today, we're doing some singles OU after after a little while because Greninja is back. We can finally use it, and we got this really cool uh, triple protein team. This was built by people on my uh, Discord server. I think uh, Grayan was the one who came up with this uh, really fun fun idea. We got all these starter Pokemon, which all have uh, protein, including Cinderace, because Libero is literally protein with a different name. You know, they just wanted to have a football theme with this Pokemon, so it's called Libero instead. So that is really cool. Thanks to Grayan and um, also Terry must chimed in, Mikey and Toast, who ended up putting this uh, team together, which is basically hyper offense, hazard uh, stacking with a uh, Garchomp. We've got Goldengo in the back to stop all the uh, rapid spins and uh, defogs. We got the ghost tapping, we got the good as gold ability. Goldengo is freaking great. Of course, something we need to watch out for is, is uh, Protean, of course, has been uh, nerfed in this generation. It only uh, works once per switching, so, and when you change your typing, then you also lose your stab on your other moves. It's not like terrestrializing, where you get to keep your original uh, stab, even if you change into a different typing. So, yeah, gotta keep those mechanics in mind. Um, what do we have? Oh, a cricket tune. That is interesting. What is he gonna lead with? I feel like Garchomp just, you know, putting those entry hazards up is fine. This thing doesn't get Spore or anything. Stun Spore, maybe? Maybe that could be a thing. Um, Stealth Rock, and then Spikes, Sticky Web, yeah. That's definitely a thing. What else does it do? Perish Song. Does it... Now, here's the question. Let's go into... Um, I'm just thinking of some sort of like trapping move. Does he have one? No, just goes for protect. Uh, the Skeledurge. Certainly you can switch into it if you want. I might as well knock off here. It is Focus Sash. Okay. Um. Would he go into Skelet Dirge right now? I think I'll just EQ. Oh. <laughs> he just ended up parasonging himself. But, I mean, it is smart because you get to uh, keep your, you know, sticky web up. That's obviously how this team operates. You just want to guarantee sticky web. And that uh, parasong actually also, way, uh, you know, it gives you a free switch in. So, while it seems kind of like weird and like, like was that a dumb move? No, in reality it's not. But I'm gonna go into Goldengo here against the uh, Breloom to stop the Spore. Um, and then, looking at everything, I think I'm gonna go for Shadow Ball. Garganical is kind of annoying, but... Uh, it has purifying stop, decreases the power of uh, ghost type moves, but like, yeah, he's not really gonna be doing too much in return, and I can make it rain, so. Um, I think I could recover here a few times. Keep myself uh, healthy, as he seems to be running loaded dice. Uh, should I recover here again? What would he go into? It's like, what would he go into? That's what I feel like here. So, I think I'll recover one more time. As he keeps getting like, he's doing so much, like... Oh man, almost 10%, uh, like almost... Yeah, 45%. That is a lot of damage. Um, so, like, I don't feel like I can really win this exchange here, so... Just gonna Shadow Ball here, as he reveals the Sword Stance. Okay, that was huge. That was huge. Yeah, I felt like I wasn't getting too much out of that exchange, like 5% of my health, which is okay. But it wasn't good enough, so... 
Yeah, Skelet Dredge comes in... Usually, this thing is not that fast. Would you invest in its speed? Well, you definitely invested in its bulk, but... Uh, Goldengo is also kind of... This is kind of a bulky Goldengo, so... Uh, yeah, this is fine. And if he goes into Garganical, like, I can... I can go for the, uh, make it rain against it. Dundozo. Okay, goes into his own Goldengo. Which could Shadow Ball at this point. But that is fine, I think. Can't really use Goldengo for anything. I mean, I could recover. Ah, I don't know. I'm gonna use it as a death fodder at this point. And he's leftovers. What if I go into Iron Iron Threats? I could also go into Miascarada. I kind of like Iron Threats because I feel like I can force him out and then maybe Rapid Spin on the next turn. So. Yeah. Ooh, I could also terrestrialize into normal type to avoid the Shadow Ball, but it doesn't really get me anywhere, so just gonna Earthquake here. I do knock him out. If he was indeed bulky with leftovers, that may have actually mattered. And he's gone. Yeah, I feel like with uh, Mies Corrado, I definitely had this game uh, locked up, because even if he would uh, curse with his Dundo, so I could just go for the... Uh, Flower Trick, which obviously ignores stat boost being a critical hit every time. Oh dear. <clears throat> this is actually scary. The Chien Pao thing. I am kind of weak to it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have nothing... There's no Choice Scarf Pokemon. It's faster than everything. And uh, it too hit KOs everything. So there's no switchings. Um, I'm going to start this game just because of that with the Iron Threats over Garchomp, but he's gonna lead with the uh, Iron Threats of his own. Um, and he could EQ. Could use normal Terra, but that seems like such a waste. So early on in this match. Um, ground and Steel. I mean, if I... The problem is he has the speed boost. I think I'm gonna go into Garchomp. EQ is gonna hurt, and he's not gonna take uh, damage from the uh, spikes and stuff. Do I just need to get rid of this uh, Iron Threats? I feel like it. I feel like it's an issue. So at least he has used... Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, he has used his booster energy. That That is the good news. The bad news is... How do I stop this thing? Um, no switch-ins. I'm at 62, so I don't feel like... Even terrestrializing at this point would do any good. So... Just gonna EQ. In case he misses, I mean, but he's gonna have Ice Spinner, not the, uh... Ice Spinner and not the Icicle Crash, obviously. Um, so... Iron Threats... I feel like is my safest move here. I could Rapid Spin... I don't know if he's gonna have Sucker Punch. I'm gonna try to get rid of these uh, rocks as he goes into Dragapult out of all things. Oh man. I am AV. What would you go for? I mean, it depends if it's physical or special. It could be just Terra Ghost physical. That's a thing. Fire Blast, I'm pretty sure I can take that. There we go, I do 67% and he's choice specs. So now he can switch up his moves. Um. He can go for Draco Meteor. 
I have also nothing that can outspeed uh, Dragapult. These speedy, like, Paradox Pokemon and the Ruined Pokemon, they are really tough. These old Pokemon are getting outclassed. You know, that's the thing with the power creep. Every generation, there's gonna be new Pokemon that are faster and stronger than the old Pokemon. And, um... Uh, I mean, Dragapult is one example, like, super fast, great typing. Uh, so what do I do here, though? There's just, I feel like, I have no switching, so... Oh! Goes for the Dragon Pulse. Okay, because he doesn't want to miss. But without the choice specs... Wow! <laughs> I live that. Amazing. Now we can go into, like, Chen Pao, probably. Again, I have no switch-ins. Well, Corona is also really scary if that sets up a uh, quiver dance, so that's something to uh, uh, watch out for, for sure. But Chien Pao, I don't know. I don't know. I just have no switch-ins. Just gonna EQ here. He's gonna get some life up recoil. The only way I can win is by him taking himself out with the life orb. <laughs> with the four Pokemon I have left and the HP he has. Uh, that is certainly not going to happen. Um, so I'd have to use my Terra. Fire Terra. Grass Terra. I feel like it has to be Goldengo. First, if I could bluff, I could bluff being a choice scarf, Goldengo. Um, but I have to just, and he could just go for the Ice Spinner too, but he should go for the Dark type move. So, just gonna use my Terra here, goes for the Crunch, I do survive, so, gonna make it rain, knock him out. Phew. But now in comes probably Volcarona, and it's going to, like, just go for one. <laughs> It's just gonna go for one quiver dance and I lose. Um, in comes the Dragonite. I feel like I want to break his multi scale if I can. But there is an issue with him dragon dancing. Yeah. I think DD. It's either this or the Volcarona, yeah. It's like either one he could have switched in and I, I there was nothing I could have done. I don't know, adding a Choice Scarf on this team. Maybe a Scarf Greninja could be useful. But with the move pool that I got here, doesn't really uh, help in this situation. Hmm. Oh, great. He's gonna even go for the normal Terra. Yeah, that, that was the thing, like... Okay, I have a Sucker Punch here. But... Uh, yeah. Like, Sucker Punch is not gonna help. And now since he roosted two... Extreme Speed... Yeah, there's just nothing I can do to stop this Dragonite, so... Yeah, it is kind of rough. Like Protean is not that great as it uh, used to be. Just being able to get stab on everything. That was so awesome, but also kind of overpowered. So I think the nerf is good. But in this case, uh, it definitely leads up to some uh, tough uh, situations. Um, I kind of would like to leave with Garchomp. But he's got a Hatterene. Which I could still EQ, I, I suppose. But I think Iron Threats is... Uh, feels like a safer option. Except uh, against the Paw Mod, so... If a close combat is uh, coming my way, I'm gonna go into... Garchomp, and... Uh, I think I can take two of them. And live to tell the tale. As he goes into Pelipper. He's got Hurricane with Neuburn, but this is definitely not your, like, traditional rain team. Pelipper is out there just kind of as a, I suppose, some sort of support guy. Um, and he could Hurricane. I don't know. 
I don't want a stealth rock because there's Hatterene. Like this is a, like I want a Dragon Tail, but he could U-turn, I suppose, safely. But I don't know. I'm gonna EQ expecting the Hatterene, but like this is just it's tough. It's tough, man. Uh, apparently, choice specs. So he could switch out now. So I'll go for a stealth rock while I have the chance. Um, and then do I go into who? Do I go into Greninja? Do I just go into Mascarada? Should I even use my Terra? Hmm. How fast is Neuburn? It actually speed ties with me. Hmm. I could also knock off here. What if I just Terra? Is there anything else that could use Terra? Like, Neuburn is the scariest thing and he does four times resist my flower trick. I'm gonna go for it. Just gonna use my Terra here. Which does not pay off. Uh, because that Neuburn does indeed come in. I could go into Goldengo. Flamethrower, I feel like, is the worst thing he can do. And Defog is definitely not gonna help. So that kind of works. Um, what is he gonna go into? Warchin, maybe? I'll set up a nasty plot. And what does this ability do? Uh, Tablet weakened the attack of all surrounding Pokemon. Okay, well, I don't do anything with my attack, so. Ah! He's got Terra Steel, and then he can lead seed and stuff. But actually goes for Dark Pulse, okay. Hmm. If Make It Rain did that much, plus one Shadow Ball, he's probably gonna be able to live it, right? Yeah, 40%. Shadow Ball is that much uh, weaker, so. Wachan is down pretty low, though. And Neuvern. Well, here's the thing, like, if he wants to switch into it, he's gonna get two KO'd, and we, we are both going to have to risk a speed tie, so... Just gonna go into it. And... If he wants to KO me, he would have to hit the, uh... Hurricane. I do have the Iron Threats here. But I could also, maybe if I get a little bit higher of a roll, there's two speed ties. Hmm. But like, I only got knockoff, so just gonna go for it. And let's see if I can, <sighs> I'm doing so much less with this one. Aww. So there's no way I'm gonna get a 37% high roll. But if I got like a 34, 34, that would have been it. But yeah, maybe that last hit was uh, on the high end. So yeah, this is definitely not good. So I'm gonna get switch into Iron Threats on the, what I'm expecting to be a Hurricane. Maybe I can uh, take that. And then I don't know. Maybe just go for... I don't know. Maybe go for Rapid Spin to increase my speed and go from there. Let's see. Ah, Boom Burst. Okay, well, that does nothing. Since he had to use his Terra. Um, what would he go into? I could actually Vault Switch. I feel like Rapid Spin... A knockoff would be pretty good too. He shouldn't really feel like he shouldn't really stay. I'm, I'm a rapid spin. Zatarine, like, he has so many, like, special attackers here, and if I'm faster than the uh, Paw Mod, like, I feel like uh, Iron Threads here could definitely put in some work. 
then I, I could outspeed it. I can just hit it with the Earthquake. Unless he's like a Focus Sash one. But, like, I don't know. But still, like, getting one little speed boost makes me faster than everything on his team. And then maybe I can even Volt Switch on the uh, Pelipper. That could definitely be a lot of fun. So, yeah. Goes for the Heat Wave and misses. And I get my speed up. Ooh, look at this. Yes, I'm faster than a Noivern. Faster than a Paw Mod. A spot is kind of scary, but I can knock it off. So, gonna go for a knockoff right here. Boom, heavy duty boots on the Noivern. Oh man, that was definitely a big miss. I would have lived the hit. It's not stab the heat wave, and I have the um, have the thing, but the AV. Um, so he's gonna surf here. Yeah, he has to. So if I vault switch, I mean I have to. I feel like Iron Threads is like really useful in this uh, game. Um. Let's see, if I go into... I guess Gorada did Terrestalize. Choice Specs, Rain Boosted, Hydro Pump or Surf. Uh, Greninja is... I guess Gorada is fine. I'll go into Greninja. As he goes for the Hurricane, okay. Okay. Well, I could go into that said Miascarada. And now that the Vorchian is gone and the Noivern. I feel like I'm in a pretty good spot. So, especially with the Grass Terra. Now I'm just worried about the Paw Mod possibly being uh, Focus Sashed. But we shall see. And Espatra also kind of scary because it can protect and speed boost and uh, get out of hand. Did he? He did use his Terra though. So dazzling gleam and stored power are usually the moves that they have. So now that dazzling gleam is no longer stab. Like I, I feel I'm fine. So let's go for a choice pan te grass Terra. Oh, 1%! 1%, really? He lives with 1%. That is so disappointing. The rain is up. So what do I do here? Like if he goes into Palmot... I feel like I have to go into Cinderace and just probably... Um, Is it gonna be high jump kick or like gunk shot? I mean, either way, I think it's gonna be bad for the Espatra I have in the back. I mean, the Espatra is really bad for me. Um, so at least high jump kick has a higher chance to hit. Let's see. It's not focus sashed. That is great. The rain is still up. Although I can U-turn out over to Iron Threats. Is he gonna start protecting right now? I feel like I'm still fine and U-turn is like valuable damage. So U-turn out, go into Iron Threats and he starts calm mining up. And do we see the speed boost? Yes. Um, He's got leftovers. Well, I cannot really compete with his speed boost, for sure. But he also, like, doesn't ha really have a... He has stored power, which is, like, base power. It starts with 20 base power. Everything keeps adding up, so it's, like, 120 right now. I feel like I'm fine. He should probably protect here. And still, like, try to get more. But I feel like I can live with the Assault Vest and the... Uh, Steel resistance, so let's see. But Espatra is a really good Pokemon. It's been talked about whether it, it, it should uh, get banned or not. But uh, there we go. 
yeah, not gonna touch this uh, assault vest uh, iron threat. So I uh, get to win uh, this game. Nice. But that, that thing definitely could have uh, got another hand. And if he was like substituting and protecting and getting all the speed boost and just getting a little chip damage on the uh, iron threats earlier, that could have been an entirely different game. Um, what is going to be a lead here? And can I set up hazards? Does anything have defog? Scissor. Okay, but I do have Goldengo. So I think it's all right. Yeah. I like guard jump as a lead. It's fine. But Quavo. Um, are you gonna aqua step and sword stand and stuff? Ah, he's gonna immediately terrestrialize and go for that aqua, aqua step. Okay. Get a speed boost on the next turn. It's gonna be. Um, he's gonna get a moxie boost out of this. Oh. I could actually finish him off with the Sucker Punch, though. After... Yeah. Aqua Step, KO, Rough Skin, Rocky Helmet. The only thing is, if he's like Sword Dance. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. He doesn't have his fighting typing anymore, so... We shall see. There we go, goes into Skeladurge. Okay, that's good. At least I force out the Quaquavel. As long as I don't give it any more speed boosts. Feel like I'm good. Um, so Torch Song is definitely a thing. I'm gonna go into Greninja here. As he goes into Scissor. Okay. And... In case he wants to, like, defog, I will go into Goldengo. And if anything, he would close combat. Scissor gets close combat now, so it doesn't need to rely on, like, uh, superpower like it did in the past. Um, but we shall see. Sometimes I've seen Scissors with, like, Brutal Swing and stuff. So... Let's see if he has a dark type move. If he does have it, I feel like I have to go for Shadow Ball because this could uh, definitely get out of hand. So, but if this is a Sword Stand Scissor, then that would mean there, there's no Defogger. But he played really well with the uh, Quaquava, so okay, goes with the U-turn. But yeah, he did play really well, stopping me from uh, stacking my entry hazards up. So. In comes our moth. Greninja is faster. He's gonna go for fiery dance or something. I'm gonna go into Greninja. I don't really like it. But goes for the fiery dance. I can take that. Um, he did terrestrialize, so I could just go for a hydro pump. Which I think is a solid play at this point. Yeah, let's go for it. Ah, he's scarfed. Okay, it's a scarf iron moth. That's really cool. But fire dance still does no, does not get the uh, KO. Uh, 80 base power. Does he have aqua jet? The way he brings it in feels like he does. Um, but I think I will grass nod. Just in case he doesn't have it. And he doesn't. I don't know if he was thinking I'm choiced or something. But even from that range, like, yeah. But maybe he relied on me missing my uh, Hydro Pump. That could have been a thing. Um, so, having Guard Jump would be nice. Um, feel like Goldengo can take a Bullet Punch and two. Yep. And yeah, it was life orb, so. <laughs> Scissor does go down. He can go into. Miascorada, I feel like. Okay, goes into Skeledurge. I still haven't Terrod. Should I use my Terra here? I feel like no. Hmm, but what else would I use it on? 
I feel like I, I don't really... I have so many... I have a big Pokemon lead here, so I feel like I don't really... Uh, need to Terra right now. I could have lived that and then... The Miascorada would have KO'd me anyway, so... Yeah. Let's go into... Miascorada is faster than a Greninja. If I go into Iron Threats, I EQ. He's gonna go into Miascorada. And I could Rapid Spin. I mean, if he is Protean. And goes for like knockoff and changes into Dark type, then I could EQ him. Is that too complicated? Or I could just go into Cinderace and miss. Um, Greninja is useful against the... I'm gonna go into Iron Threats. And I'm gonna go for... I'm just gonna go for knockoff, I think. Should finish off the Skeledurge. There we go. And in comes that Miascorada. So now what I could do is Terra here. And then... No, I'm, I mean Rapid Spin, I don't need to Terra. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. I... Hmm. I did have a Pokemon lead, so I felt comfortable winning the match, but this Miascarada was still... Uh, definitely scary. And then, like... The annoying rock in the back, that can always be a nuisance. Garganical. Can always be a nuisance late game. But now we got the GM power again. I'm gonna lead with Iron Threats. I feel like I'm gonna lose to the uh, GM power. This particular team just doesn't really have answers to it. Um, the thing Lu. Gonna go and chomp for the entry hazard war of the century. Set up the rocks. Because Chien Pao is weak to rocks. And then we're gonna set up spikes. No spikes, he's just gonna straight go for the EQ. I will set up the one little one little spike rooney here. Because I can take I think two more EQs. Well uh, kinda depends on the roll. We'll see. Goes for the EQ, 35. 31. So I could. Yeah, let's go for our Dragon Tail here. Yeah, doesn't get a high roll or anything, so get to face him out into a Rotom. Which could be scarfed, I, I suppose. Now it would have been nice to drag out the Chien Pao, so. Yeah. And it is a Scarf Rotom. Didn't see leftovers or anything. Um. It is good information, though. I'm going to Miascarada. Which actually does really threaten his uh, team. His flower trick is bad for everything except Goldengo, but I can knock off. And knock off is overall kind of bad for his team. Yeah, look, I'm a knock off here. I don't know what his uh, initial switching will be. But I think he should definitely switch out, fearing the flower trick. And he could go into Goldengo, but he could just sack like Ting Lu. Use it as a pivot. Goes into Cinderace. Okay. I like that. Boom. <laughs> Heavy duty boots. Get out of here. So now he knows I'm probably choice, judging by the damage. But uh, I am faster than the Cinderace, so... Yeah, just gonna go for it. But this is where the entry has it stacking definitely helps, because, uh... Yeah. He doesn't really want to switch around too much. Um... This is gonna be Will-O-Wisp, and can Goldengo live too? It could be just a Hydro Pump. I feel like Goldengo can take... This thing has some HP. And he does go for the Will-O-Wisp, so... And he's Scarfed, and he's locked in, so... What should I do to take advantage? 
I feel like Ting Lu is coming in. Hmm. If I go into Cinderace, no. I can't high jump kick while the Goldengo is around. If I go into Greninja, I could... I could Hydro Pump the Ting Lu. If I go into... Hmm. Mias Karada is pressuring him so much that I'm gonna switch it in. And this time I am going to go for the flower trick, I think. There's certainly pressure here. Um, I could also Terra. But I feel like I don't want to do it quite yet. I was just thinking like, how do I deal, deal with the Goldango coming in next? The flower trick is the right move for now. The great tusk, man, that thing lives. I mean, it's the great tusk and it's like super bulky. Uh, it could be faster, but I don't know. The way he lives the choice bandit hit, I feel like probably not gonna have enough speed for a Mias Corrada uh, after uh, plus one. But he could definitely switch out into like a Goldengo at this point. But like, uh, I still don't feel like uh, switching around too much. But maybe using the Grass Terra would have been the right move in this case. Goes into Chien Pao. Really? Okay, I, I take it. Um, I don't just, I just don't have priority. I, I would really wish that, I really hope that this is life orb, so he's gonna KO himself. Um, he could just looking at what I have. Either stat move will be just fine. Um, feel like Greninja. M Can Greninja live a crunch? Maybe. I feel like Cinderace is the most expandable Pokemon at this point. Yeah, because like, had, had he gone for Crunch, I would have been KO'd here, so... Yeah, and... I don't know. Most likely heavy to boot, so... No Life Orb, unfortunately. It's gonna U-turn and get KO'd here, most likely. Sacred Sword. Hmm... Could be a choice band. Should I call his bluff? I do have iron threads which could which could live one hit. I'm calling his bluff. I'm thinking this is a choice band of Chien Pao. Cause like yeah, this team struggles with the Chien Pao, so I don't really know what to what else to do here? I'm just gonna shadow ball here. Yeah, there we go. He does switch in. Like, he could have easily gone for crunch, but uh, he's banded, so. Goes into Ting Lu. Mm. Actually. I mean, I could terrestrialize here. And be immune to Earthquake. Which is, like, alright. Um, but then what do I do? Is there any sort of like, also wondering like, is there any defensive Terra that would help me against the Chien Pao? Iron Threats takes neutral damage from all the common moves. So maybe I'll use it here. Terra, Nasty Blot, goes with the Ruination. I don't know if he has like Whirlwind on the back or is he gonna be just uh, spikes. He can definitely live this because Tinglu is so bulky and it has the ability, so. Ooh, I, wait a minute, I didn't know that. I did not know that. <laughs> oh. I did not know that. <laughs> Man, good as gold. That is such a dumb ability. 
everything take everything is affected by it. All sorts of gimmick moves. So I can just recover here. Um, as he goes with the ruination. Um, he could miss. But I think Ice Spinner Choice Bandit is gonna... I could go for a miss for a little bit. Ruination is like... Um, let's go for a Nasty Plot. It's like he, he cannot do anything. He should probably like switch out in Chien Pao. As he is catching on here. That I'm just take, going to take this time to uh, set up here. But would he risk his most valuable Pokemon? There we go, there's the miss. I think this is the best uh, I'm gonna get out of this, so... There we go. Make it rain. But now he can go into Chimpao. And, uh... He's gonna knock me out. <laughs> Damn it! If only I had been able to keep the Stealth Rock up. Would have been so amazing. Hmm. Hmm. If I go into Iron Threads on the next turn... He has to go for the... Ice Spinner. There are no switch-ins. But it is Goldengo. Is Goldengo going to do anything for me? He can live a hit maybe from the Rotom, but I'm flying type now, so... Perhaps not. And he has the Icicle Crash. There's a chance for a miss. He's using that over the uh, Ice Spinner, but Iron Threads. I'm really tempted just to go for Rapid Spin. To get a speed boost so I can deal maybe with the Rotom. I'm gonna do it. Ah, he does switch in the Rotom. And I do get rid of the rocks. Hmm. I think I'm faster. No. If he's timid max speed, then he's gonna be faster anyway, so. When with Rotom being rel relatively slow to begin with. 294. Yeah, 98. I suppose he could Hydro Pump, or I feel like Greninja is okay. Goes for the Willowers, that is fine. So now he's gonna have to make a sack. Um, what is it going to be? I think I will Dark Pulse. It's my best like neutral move against everything. Takes out Champao, Goldengo. Should probably two hit KO the Great Tusk. So, there we go. Does one hit KO. Thank you. Um. But now he goes back into 20 base power. Does a washing machine not weigh anything? Feels like they always wear, like weigh like 100 kilo kilograms or something, but this one being a ghost washing machine. No. Well, now I can live... Mm, can I live a Hydro Pump? I can definitely live a Thunderbolt. I think. It is tough. I feel like the Chien Pao is going to finish me off anyway, so... Dark Pulls here. Hmm... I do have the Miascarada. But... How should I play this? How much did the uh, Rapid Spin do to a Rotom? 14% and he's still faster than me. If he's timid. I, I feel like I cannot risk it. Hmm. 94. Okay, so I'm one base speed faster than the Goldengo. That is really, really important. Um. Hmm. 
Is it knock off at this point? Knock off KOs everything. What if I suck a punch? This is Choice Bandit. I don't I just don't know about the uh Goldango at this point. Let's see. Uh Cobra Cloak. Okay, yeah, that could have been definitely a nasty plot. So had I gone for Sucker Punch, he would have gotten free switch in. I would have panicked and gone for like Sucker Punch again, and he would have gone for like nasty plot and stuff, and yeah, that would have been bad. In comes the Chin Pao. This is the a moment of truth. Um Well, he can go for the... Actually, he can go for the Sacred Sword. Is that gonna knock me out? The Iron Threats, though. I mean, there was no Terra that would have saved me. We'll see. Yeah, he got the one hit KO. With a critical hit. Ah. And, well, I, I... He was Choice Bandit, so I think... I think I had no chance there, so... Chienpa is just... It's... <sighs> Speak of the devil. There we go. We got one more Chien Pao here. Um, but otherwise, this is kind of a bulky team. I'll lead with the Iron Threats because I'm scared of that freaking uh, Chien Pao. So... Gonna go into... Garchomp here. I could actually terrestrialize on this... Uh, On this uh, great tusk, as he goes for the CC. Hmm. Did he just CC again? Would he be banded? He did so much, but then again, it's great tusk. But this is a kind of sort of bulky guard. So max HP, max speed. Maybe. I'll set up the rocks just for the uh, Chien Bao there. And I wasted my Terra. Uh, but I can go into Goldengo. So I can still use Garchomp for something. Here we go. And then what do we do? Is he gonna go into Dundozo? Or maybe a Claude Sire? Hmm. I can go back into Garchomp, set up some more entry hazards. As Claude Zire it is, or I could even EQ this. That could definitely help. I just don't know. I really don't know how I'm breaking this Claude Zire. Man, that did so much, but it's still not enough. Still not enough. If I... I might as well uh, spike a row here. I'm kind of half expecting a protect here from the Claude Sire. Or just a switch in. So there we go. Get up another spike a Rooney. And, uh. Yeah, this is actually great. Claude Sire now down to 9%. Um, could I knock him out with the Make It Rain? Let's go for it. I mean, this thing is not really especially bulky, but he seems to be 264. He's definitely speedy. I don't know if he's scarfed, though. Um, Neoscarada. I could... I could U-turn. I could also knock off the... Among Us. Let's go for a knockoff. And entry hazard hazards are definitely starting to rack up here. Seventy percent. Okay, that was Rocky Helmet. I like that. So knockoff again. It's a fine move if he goes into that Great Tusk and he, if he's scarfed, like that's fine. If he goes into the Great Tusk now, then I know he's definitely scarfed. Or actually, I don't because he should know that I'm choice bandit with that damage. So. I know nothing. I'm Jon Snow. Um, if he wants to spin, here's my ghost. <laughs> yes! 
<laughs> now there we go. I terrestrialized way too early, but it did pay off. So now I got a ghost ghost jump here, um, which could. Is he gonna just sack his Claude Sire? I feel like that's what I would do. And he's not choiced. Okay, that is good to know. That is good to know. And now I can definitely revenge kill him with uh, almost anything I want. Um, I think it's going to be Miascarada. Yeah, I have to Flower Trick. I don't want him to get off a rapid spin. And he does go into Cinderace and it is Heavy Duty Boots, so... Ooh. 51. I'm faster. I'm really tempted. Watch me get like a 48% roll. Uh, yes! That did just enough. That's the power of choice band Miascarada. But now in comes the chip pow, probably. Wait, wait, wait. We already proved that you're not. Okay, Terra. But this is choice band. Maybe if, if it was a Steel Terra, then maybe. Um, this is going to be tough, though. In comes the Chien Pao. And... I feel like, again... Cinderace is the most expandable, because I need the Miascarada for the Dondozo. And... Greninja could also help against the Dondozo, and he would help against the Chienpa, although, like, he's faster. But if he's choice, he goes for a stab move, then that could be a thing. Um, feels like could be choice banded. Can Greninja take a hit? I feel like I have to go for, like, Hydro Pump, too. I think, if anything, he should sack the Claude Sire right now. How powerful... Actually, base power 100. So, if I can take... Yeah. And I turn into a grass type. He's gonna come back. Either way, this thing is going to be an issue. Grass knot. Stab. Yes! I do knock out the Chien Pao. That was huge. And that will be the game. Man, <laughs> that was that was definitely scary. And Chien Pao, I mean, no matter like in this case, like I didn't have a scarf Pokemon, I had no switching. But a lot of teams have no switchings to uh, Chien Pao because it's, it is just so freaking strong. It has the sort of ruin ability that kind of like messes up your defensive calculations, so it is such a hard Pokemon to switch into. Anyways, no matter what kind of team you have. But this was a lot of fun. Really, really enjoyed the triple uh, Protean team. So thank you, Toast, and everyone on the Discord server uh, who uh, put this uh, team together. It was definitely cool to try out a Greninja now that we have it available here on Showdown. But anyways, at this point, I'm rambling as usual, so I thank you so much for watching, and until next time, this is Spade, signing out. Peace.